Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News update. The band No Machine, featuring the Dillinger Escape Plan drummer Billy Reimer, have released a new track called Get It Together from their new EP, Volume 1. It's released through Revolver. The new album will be out on October the 7th. You can take a listen to the new track in the link in the description of this video. Team Sleep, uh, featuring Chino from the Deftones, has been reactivated and are inviting some lucky fans into the studio while they record their new album. You can pre order the album at pledgemusic.com. The link is in the description. And the US Knot Fest, which has amazing bands as usual, featuring Slipknot, Five Finger Death Punch, Kill Switch Engage, among many others, goes down at the San Manuel Amphitheater and Campgrounds in San Bernardino, California, October the 25th and 26th. One feature of the festival this year will be Knotfest has its own aroma that will infest your brain, body, and clothes for days after the festival is over. Personally picked by Slipknot themselves, the smell of Knotfest will permeate the festival grounds. It will be oil drums filled with camel dung and oil set aflame to the last uh, to last the entire festival. So make sure whatever clothes you wear, it's going to be pretty smelly at Knotfest, but it'll definitely uh, set the ambience to the festival, that's for sure. And the band Vanishing Life are streaming a new track titled People Running Through Noisy. Take a listen to that track in the link in the description. And Tesseract have announced that they have signed with K-Scope Records. Amos Williams recently stated, Really looking forward to discovering the possibilities of working with such a creative label. We admire everything K-Scope's done with bands like Anathema, Catatonia, and Steven Wilson. And can't wait to see where they will guide Tesseract in this new chapter of the band. Very excited. So only good things in the future for Tesseract. That's for sure. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.